Hi everyone. So in this video, we will understand about Oracle Service Bus, and uh, we will know uh, that uh, we have Oracle SOA. Then why we are using Oracle Service Bus, and uh, what is the difference between both of them? And also we will understand uh, Oracle Service Bus with one example. I'll create a live project or application, but I'll show you how to use and create a uh, Oracle Service Bus application. So let's get started. So uh, first of all, for installation, uh, like when you are installing Oracle SOA suite, then if I'll uh, if I'll go below, then as you can see, uh, it consists the Oracle Service Bus. So you don't need to manually uh, install that. But when you are you will install the Oracle SOA suite, then it will get installed automatically. Okay, and uh, yeah. So now let's go back to our uh, page. So the the basic difference between SOA and OSB is SOA is stateful. So when we'll use SOA, then uh, we can also like track the instance means uh, in uh, Oracle uh, Enterprise Manager, we can see the flow instance. Okay, but when we'll use Oracle Service Bus, then that is stateless. So we are not able to see the instance. Okay, so this is the basic difference you can understand. And now, like, uh, what are the uh, key benefits to use uh, Oracle Service Bus? So when we have a requirement for a message blocking kind of activity, then also we can use uh, this thing. And also when we want to route a message to one or another uh, external services, then also we can uh, prefer to use Oracle Service Bus. Okay. And also we can dynamically route uh, a message to the specific service. And uh, also suppose uh, we want support of different message format of input inbound and output messages then also we can prefer to use oracle service bus okay so you also you can uh, do r and d like why and when to use oracle service bus i will so i also go through this link uh, you can i'll put this link in description to know the difference between both of them okay and uh, like suppose we have some complex tasks so then at that time we prefer a uh, soa okay and if we have some light weight uh, task like suppose just a simple db call or service call then at that time we prefer oracle service first okay so in in my uh, career i have uh, i'll try to show you one example like when i have used uh, this kind of thing means uh, so this is the diagram which i have drawn so uh, the requirement was like uh, in in some ftp folders there were some uh, there were some a uh, huge amount of uh, files which i need to uh, like process those files and i just need to convert those files related uh, data to specific messages and then i need to push them to the specific queues okay so at that time i was using oracle service bus okay so i in one my one of my proxy services i was just uh, i have configured folder of that particular ftp locations and then i was uh, like uh, taking the message from that folders and then those services was routed to the specific business services in that i i was configuring the queue related details and then uh, by that services i was just uh, putting the messages into specific queue okay so that was the thing i was doing and also uh, like in this proxy services i also added some parser code so this is also one advantage to use oracle service bus because uh, we can use parsers means we can parse our data and we can generate specific kind of format uh, like we can also create the java uh, code related to parsers okay so that also i was doing so this is the simple example or a business example when to use uh, oracle service bus okay so now what we'll do uh, we will create a simple application of oracle service bus okay so now let's get started so i'll open my j developer okay and uh, i have already started my uh, integrated server okay so now i'll try to create one application so i'll just click on new and application okay and now i'll search for oracle service bus so i can say service bus so i'll go below and as you can see here we have oracle service bus application okay so i'll click on this one service bus application with service bus project so I'll click on this. So I'll just give the service bus name or we can say hello service bus application. And then I'll click on next. And then I'll uh, create the project name. So I'll say 
hello project okay and then i'll click on this and then i'll just click on finish so now our uh, uh, like uh, project will get created so now this is the project which we have okay and with one bomb.xml file so now what we'll do i'll just create some uh, necessary folders so i'll just uh, click on this um, means i'll go in the specific directory where my project got created so i'll just explore that directory and here i'll just create some folders so i'll say uh, i'll one cre i'll create one folder called schema and then uh, another folder let's say for uh, wisdal because we'll select wisdal means we'll use wisdal when we'll create our application so one is for wisdal and one is for proxy services in which we'll have our proxy services so i'll say proxy services okay uh, okay so now that is this is fine so now i'll just uh, refresh my application and as you can see we have this uh, uh, folders got created okay so now i'll just uh, uh, quickly create one schema so we need to click on new then uh, xml schema we need to select and then i'll just give name as a uh, hello hello.xst okay and uh, i can give some namespace as well so i'll just give my website name so www.thecodespace.in and i'll just give some namespace let's say rp okay and then i'll click on okay so now as you can see our uh, uh, schema got created and i'll just uh, quickly create a, a basic example of our xsd okay so now i'll just uh, drag this sequence here and also i'll just uh, like uh, uh, add one element here then similarly for uh, response element i'll just add one element here and then one sequence so let's say here we have sequence okay and then one element okay so in request we'll pass some string and sorry in request we'll pass some string and then we will have some uh, response element so i'll just give some name so let's say a req uh, element sorry uh, yes req element okay and then then we'll have something like uh, res element okay okay that's fine now i'll just give the name as a element uh, like say uh, request simple request okay and uh, here i'll give name as response okay and i'll just uh, assign the types so i'll just uh, keep it as a string sorry uh, here a string we need to add so this is the string okay so now i'll just uh, uh, give the name uh, sorry data type of this as well so set type and just uh, say string okay so now this is fine so now i'll just save my xsd and now what we'll do like uh, i think this uh, xsd got created in another folder so now let's go and uh, add that in specific folder so this is in this uh, folder got created so now i'll just uh, cut this and then in schema i'll just paste that okay so now i'll just try to refresh my application so now this is in this specific folder so now in this wisdal folder i'll just create one wisdal okay so now wisdal and then i'll give the name as uh, hello hello wisdom or sorry hello dot wisdom okay i'll give i'll uh, keep the default o type and operation uh, here or uh, we can also uh, modify this okay now i'll just uh, select synchronous because we also want a response in the same request so i'll just select input uh, so i'll give the name as input as a part name and then i'll search for input parameter so uh, not a parameter input uh, element so i'll just say i'll search more search for my schemas input uh, element so i'll just say request element i'll select and uh, okay i'll click on okay for response in this for output i'll just say output and uh, i will search for another uh, output element which is in our schema so this is output element and then i'll just click on okay and click on this okay okay so now our visual will get created just to save your application 
and then now what we'll do uh, we will go into our hello world project okay and here uh, from resources no sorry for from components like uh, click on this and uh, just right click on this and just uh, insert a pipeline okay and uh, give the name as request or we can say hello hello pipeline okay and uh, then location will change so now let's say uh, now let's say we want to use visual so i'll just uh, uh, click on this and i'll just search for the visual which i have created so now i'll just click on this okay so now it is taking some time uh, so now as you can see we have this visual so i'll just click on this visual okay so i'll just click on this visual this is uh, okay so now i just click on this visual and just click on okay and just select the location so i'll just select uh, a specific location so i'll just select this proxy folder okay because we are exposing this as a proxy so i'll just select that folder and for this also we will add this pipeline in that particular proxy services folder okay so now click on next and then uh, this is fine and we are selecting transport as a http so click on finish and as you can see our uh, like uh, uh, synchronous uh, service uh, structure got created now i'll click on this hello pipeline and then now i will try to click on this components and i'll just uh, add some uh, pipeline pair here okay and here uh, as you can see i'll just give some name so input stage and uh, here i'll give the output stage okay so let's say output stage i'm giving output stage okay okay now this is fine so now from component uh, okay so now here so i will search for assign activity here so uh, search here assign okay and uh, this is the assign activity so i'll just uh, drag and drop here okay and uh, now uh, i'll click on this uh, here in expression i'll click on this okay and uh, now i'll search for uh, like uh, response parameter i'll create one uh, envelope okay so now let's say re response uh, element is here so now i'll uh, search for some name spaces for soap envelope so uh, soap env i think is the uh, envelope uh, prefix so i'll just click on this okay uh, okay so now uh, we will create one envelope so don't worry about this this is kind of uh, structure i am creating so let's say in tag and then uh, like we need to say body because this is the body and uh, then uh, i'll just copy and paste this and i'll just end this okay so now i will just end this and uh, now uh, now i'll just end this and then i'll just create uh, i'll just cut this and i'll just paste this here to reference uh, so now i will uh, create one another element okay so now i'll just uh, copy and paste this here and uh, similarly i'll just paste this here to end this okay and in that i'll just create this element uh, so let's copy this and just uh, paste here okay and now just end this element okay now this is fine just to remove this this is this was only for our reference so now in this element so i'll just uh, add one uh, input uh, tag here okay means in input element will add so now here i'll just uh, add one bracket uh, okay and here what we'll do we will select our request uh, parameter okay so now uh, i'll search for this uh, request element which we have so just uh, click on this and uh, then 
uh, we want some kind of uh, concatenation we want to add some string right so we also need to use some uh, function so now i'll click on this functions and i'll search for concat function so that will be in string functions so here search for that concat so here this is the concat function so now uh, uh, let's say this is the concat function which we have so now just uh, uh, i'll just remove this for our convenience okay uh, and then uh, i'll just click on this concat and uh, here uh, i will just add some string let's say uh, hello hello okay and let's say hello and here we'll add that uh, our request element so uh, we will say in variable and request element we'll add and then uh, we'll add something like uh, welcome welcome to osb world okay and we will add that in a, a bracket okay so this bracket which we need to add and now now this is looking fine as you can see we have added that concat function like this okay so if i zoom it out and as you can see this is our input element which we have concatenated with that particular string okay so now let's click on okay and uh, click here and select the body so from this select the body and just save your application okay so now just save your application and uh, yeah now this is fine so now we can just deploy this and we can just test our application so now just right click on that and uh, now just deploy on your local server so deploy to service bus server click on next and i'll just uh, deploy that on my integrated server so click on next and click on finish so now uh, our application or our project will get deployed into our specific uh, integrated server so now it will take some time so i have already started my local host uh, like slash service bus means uh, service bus console okay uh, so now i'll just refresh this and uh, now i will uh, add my credentials here okay and uh, now it will get open so so as you can see we have uh, this hello world project so means uh, our project got uh, deployed successfully okay so now i'll go in this service so i'll click on this uh, service okay and uh, now i will uh, test this service which we have created so i'll just click on this test and uh, then this kind of interface will uh, you see and then here as you can see it is taking soap envelope uh, soap header okay which we have created and here you can pass your string uh, input okay so i am just passing raj parmar okay raj parmar and uh, as you can see we have added this uh, uh, namespace okay and with this uh, prefix so this is in this request format already now i'll just click on execute okay so as you can see that we are getting the correct output which we want uh, wanted to see this is the output which we have added uh, into our application so this is the thing which we are getting so yeah that's all about this like we have added this raj parma and we are getting this concatenated string as a output so that's all about this uh, video if you like this video then please do subscribe and let me know to comment box that uh, like how was this video and how, if you want to uh, learn more about this then also comment in comment section i'll see in the next video till then keep sharing keep watching bye bye